A Missouri man with more than 10 warrants out for his arrest made a run for it when he encountered police, but his daring escape was cut short when he fell straight down that ravine. Tonight, police and the firefighters who made the rescue early this morning are sharing how risky it was and what led him back to that spot. I'm Lauren Halifax. And I'm John Holt, the suspect expected to survive, but he is in serious condition. It all happened behind some homes near Shirewood Road and St. Louis Avenue in Excelsior Springs. Fox 4's Malik Jackson live at the Excelsior Springs Police Department tonight. Malik, not the ending this suspect intended for sure. Yeah, this turned very bad, very fast for this suspect. We talked to the captain who says in his more than 15 years here with this department, he can th think of only one rescue that compares. It's very difficult because we have to look at not only are we looking at the patient's safety, but we have to look at the firefighter safety, the, the medics, the EMTs, the police officers as well. And but well before Captain Scott Guthrie and his team of rescuers would be needed to make a descent down to the bottom of this ravine, officers were just serving a search warrant a little before 10 p.m. Sunday night. Initially, they didn't see him. They, um, it was a pretty good sized yard as they went a little deeper into the yard, subject uh, hopped up. The suspect dashed for the woods made up of heavy brush, rock and trees. The officers making the decision to suspend their chase. The woods were kind of heavy. It was starting to drop off and he, he's familiar with the area enough to know that there is a, a pretty deep ravine there. The next morning, the officers went to search the area again. As they were approaching, uh, they heard somebody uh, kind of moaning slash yelling for help. We're at the top of this ravine where this suspect fell nearly 100 feet right here to the bottom. He was down there for nearly 10 hours with his condition unknown and an incoming storm. Rescuers were working against the clock. And then the board was placed into the Stokes basket. And then the patient was secured on the backboard. The rescue risky. In total, six people scaled down using rope and eventually a pulley system to the bottom of this ravine. We had one, we had the victim strapped into here, and then we had, I was on the head of the Stokes basket. We had two here, two there, and one at the back. In just one hour, this team made it and was able to bring this suspect to safety. And right now, police are not naming this suspect. They say he has as many as 14 warrants out right here in Excelsior Springs, but they said they will name him once he is formally charged, and that will happen in the coming days as his condition improves.